Let's learn how to work with menus and data structures in an MVC environment. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a brand new project and I'll go ahead and use the .NET framework that one right there and I'm going to go ahead and call that my menus and I'll click OK and then this will go create my uh, template that says I want an empty MVC project template created and it's going to make my project for me. I'll go ahead and close that window down and the first thing I want to do is I want to make a brand new controller to run, run my MVC site so I'll say add controller and it's going to be an empty controller and I'll go ahead and call it the home controller. Remember this is a special name the word controller don't delete that. That's what MVC looks for. So it break, creates my brand new controller and home controller by default will be where the application looks and it's going to look for the home controller and the index method when it starts the actual website. So let's go ahead and make a view for that website putting my cursor in that index method. I can say add view and it will use the same name as the method which was index. Uncheck the layout page. We're going to do it all ourselves and not get any help. Click add and here is our layout page that we have for the default. Within uh, this main page I'm going to create a new menu system and we're going to go ahead and use that menu but one thing that we also need to do is since we are referencing a class we need to make sure that we use that class and this class is actually one that's out on W3 Schools have a decent tutorial for people to use for learning things and that class will be used with this uh, ahref. So this says go make a menu item, at least we're going to treat it like a menu item. It's, a, it's an anchor and we're going to use a button class and it's going to be called stack and if you ever click on it we're going to go find a stack controller and an index method inside that controller. If you ever click on Q we're going to go to the Q controller index method, dictionary controller index method, and the home controller exit method. Notice you can have multiple index methods, multiple methods with the same name. And how can you do that? Because they're going to be in different classes. Remember each controller is a separate class. So this is a way we're just organizing all of our data into different classes. Next thing I want to do is if they ever click on the home exit, I want to redirect them to a new website. So let's come back to the home controller and let's write a brand new action method. Public action result and we'll call it exit. And if they ever click on this uh, method, then we want to go ahead and send it somewhere else. And we can do that with our redirect method. We can say go ahead and redirect to, the, to that URL. So let's go, to, go ahead and save our project and let's run it and let's see if we at least see a menu showing up and if we can click on the exit and redirect to ESPN.com. So here's my menu items. If I, click on any, if I clicked on that, we would want to go find a stack controller and an index method in that controller. The queue controller and an index method in it. A dictionary controller and the index method. And if I click on this, it should redirect us to ESPN which it does. So now that we know that the exit menu item works, let's go ahead and write one for the stack uh, menu item. Remember we said over here if you click on the stack menu item we want you to go to the stack controller index method. So we'll come over to controllers, add controller, empty, and we want to go to the stack controller so it'll create that brand new controller for us. There's our index, and we can go ahead and right mouse click, add view, index, notice that's still unchecked. And so it'll make another view for us. I'm going to change that title to be stack index. So notice that I have an index uh, view in the home folder in the views and an index view in the stack folder in the views and that's because they're in different subfolders. And then the stack and the home controllers will have methods like this method that says go find a view 
and it says what view do you want I want the view since this is empty with the same name as the method in the stack subfolder so it comes over here and it says here's the stack subfolder in views and there's the index so it would actually run that view for that method so you have to understand these method names mean something they provide a link to a view name and what the controllers also mean something you take the first part of that controller the word before the word controller and when you make a view the system actually makes a brand new subfolder with that same name and then it creates the view with the same name as that method so there's a link between all those now let's go ahead and write this uh, write the code we need for for this stack controller first of all we want to go ahead and create a variable that's that's visible and that lives forever it's visible in this class and lives forever so that's why we're going to say static if you declare something as static that means you do not have to have an object or instantiate an object from this class in order to have that property or that variable static says it lives until the program dies so we have a variable called my stack which is a stack of type string and then we went ahead and instantiated that object then the next thing that I want to do is we need to go ahead and create some menu items over here under our view for the stack see that's the, the index right there that index view in the stack subfolder in the views subfolder and I want to make another menu system more or less what I did before and we'll say let's go ahead and add a menu item I'm only adding one the menu item says it's add one item to stack and if you click on it go to the stack controller and the add one method so let's come back over here to our stack controller and let's add a brand new method public action result meaning we're gonna go to a view add one is the name of the method and in this method what we want to do is we want to go ahead and add an entry to the stack by saying my stack there's our variable my stack dot push add an entry and we're going to push this string plus the count of the items in the stack plus one so if it was an empty we would end up adding new entry one the next time it'd be new entry two new entry three and then we're going to take that stack and store it into our view bag I called it my stack I could have called it stuff I could have called it or I could call it anything I wanted I could I could say bacon spelled correctly or anything but I'm gonna go ahead and use the word my stack notice the case is different so it's not the same variable as that but your view back can hold anything you want and you can put anything you want in it so this now says if I ever come to this menu item and I click on it it's gonna to go to the stack controller and the add one method and it's going to push a new item on the stack which will be that new string and then we'll store the stack to the view bag and go back to the index view notice I'm not going to the add one but I can actually tell it which view to go to so we're going to the index view in the stack subfolder so we come back over to here now one thing that we would want to do is we still need to display that stack so over here I'm just going to display um, in P tags I'm going to say razor for each item in the view bag my stack we're going to pull one out at a time and store it to S data and then we're going to print off in a P tag the contents of that S data so that's what this for each will do for us is it pulls one item at a time out of the stack puts it into that variable and I print it off so let's come back to our main home controller and we'll run this and we'll see what errors we have and see how it looks so we should be able to see our main page show up and here's the main page that's loading up right now 
and it should display the main menu from the home controller index action method. Click on stack and we have an error right now that we need to resolve and so the problem we have is it says I don't know who my stack is and that's because we can't just make the assumption that something has been stored in my stack when that first runs so right now this is the index uh, view right but if you notice over here in our index action method we don't have anything in the view bag so if I just say that we're now going to say for the index action method which takes us to the index view let's just put whatever is in my stack into the view bag that way when we come over here there actually is something in the view bag so let's go back and try to run it one more time and now when we run this we should have our main menu show up from the home controller index we click on stack which takes us to the stack controller index we click on add one item to stack which takes us to the add one method in the stack controller add one add one add one add one and I can get out of this and close the website so that's how you can make a menu and how you can have uh, a home controller redirect to another web page and have a menu system in your home controller that redirects you to a different controller and a different method and you have that different controller can call another method add items to a variable store it in the view bag send it back to the index view and then display it.